Hey guys, so this is a different video than usual. Um, I mentioned that I'm building a 2.8 over 4, and it's, today is Saturday, June 8th, and it's done. It's decaled, fully, basically done, ready to present, ready to go to Brickworld and make its debut. Um, here are a bunch of clips that I'm stringing together to kind of show the, to show the engine from the point where I first started putting the rods on to right now. Um, I didn't record a whole lot of video during the building process or the designing process, but I wanted to put some together anyways, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of the my build and design process. But um, I will do a more formal, uh, a little bit more formal review video, uh, which I'll upload later this week, and that will also, and I will also be writing an article on the two on my 280 for brick model order. And uh, that'll be posted later this week as well. So uh, enjoy, and uh, I'll see you all later. First time under its own power on rails. More than one hour later, yet to develop any problems. It's also 12.15 in the morning. So it's time to go to bed.
added a yard to my floor layout, because why not? Still got this guy, but all three of my batteries are dead, so it means I have a dead locomotive. got a uh, sound in it and now decals are going on Pretty much done except for one decal, which is basically just a reddish brown chunk that'll go right here on the rear wall of the de uh, the bunker. But for now, cover it up till Kale gets here later tonight. You ready? I want to see thirteen. All right. I want to see thirteen. I want to see this thing that ready. I've helped you with three, two. One. Dang. <laughs> oh, man, so I have good. a surprise. Oh, the doors. Oh, the front doors on the cab came out so freaking nice. That's one of my favorite parts. Oh, my God. The builder's plates turned out really well. Holy. Oh, wow. They are freaking amazing. I wasn't sure how well they'd turn out, but. Pretty darn. Dang. The only issue that I really had was with the number plate. I had to trim some of the clear off of the edge just to get it to fit, but it worked pretty well. Oh, okay. He didn't, uh, Andy didn't, it didn't cut, cut it all exactly. It didn't cut exactly to where the, 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 uh, he did he left a little extra clear on. Yeah, he always does. That was really the only place that kinda got annoying. I didn't, the other I was, didn't think to say something about that. The other was the safety first, but they turned out well. Thank you for printing extra ones of these. Because they actually well, didn't put it on the back. Huh? They didn't put a safety first on the back that I've seen. I seen it on fourteen. They didn't have it on thirteen. They didn't have it on thirteen? I looked. I double checked. I, yeah, admittedly, I, had, I couldn't. Admittedly, I didn't see a shot of the back of thirteen. So there were, I only I was, saw I was one. Just, I figured I'd just throw them in just in case. Well, I appreciate it because I messed up one of them on the front. <laughs> Freaking a man! So I have a surprise. If you you take over for a second, and this isn't just gonna give it away beforehand, but. Let me, uh, hook it's a up. lovely shot of a box. Let me hook up the look battery at the, here. Look at the craftsmanship from that U-line box. I'm 
some radio static in the cab. Yep. <laughs> So, um, is this, is this, uh, is this PFX or Dally? Dally. This is Dally. You took it out of your Crusader. Took it out of my J1. Your J1. Oh. I just had it sitting around, not doing anything. Oh. Wow, man. Wow. There's one thing I wish I could change on it, but I don't know how to do it yet. Or lights? I don't have time to do it. Yes. You want to do lights? I want to do lights. I just want to do a headlight, but I don't have I don't have time or resources to do it. Yeah. It's a little, a little close to Brook Road. Yeah, nope. Stay still. Yeah, it is. So, you'll, you'll figure it out, but the... Uh, Handling procedure is kind of wonky now, but I have faith in you. You can get it taken that care of. That diamond logo is the bomb. That's it looks really good. Whoever did that for you is freaking awesome. Yeah, I agree. Dude, that's a that's a that's an awesome engine. That is a freaking awesome engine. I'm 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 I, I love it. Like, you really knocked it out on the park on this one, and, uh... Thank you. Crazy. And, uh, I am serious when I say this is my new favorite Glen Holland engine. By a long shot. Heck yeah. Hold on. Terrible videography here. <laughs> Terrible. Could be a big clip. It also gets out of its own way. You know, I brought the gimbal if you want to get some gimbal shot later. That'd be great. Success. What are you? Absolute <laughs> success. Are you happy? Sure am. Are we happy, Vince? Absolutely. Oh yeah, we happy. All right, that about wraps up the video. Um, I will be writing the article for it on Brick Model Railroader. That'll be posted later this week. And like I did mention, I will be doing a little bit more of a, of a tidy video of showing off 13 and the, the hopper as well, since I've got it. Uh, that'll probably go up around the same time. And I'll post the good photos of it at, at the same time as well. So it'll all just come at one time. Um, but thanks guys very much for watching. Uh, and I'll talk to you later.